Hi everybody. This is the second of the pedo tube modification videos. In the first one, we just went over what we were doing, uh, the the pedo tube itself. And this is kind of a this is this is really a finishing piece, you know. Uh, this is one of those things you put on your plane, you're ready to fly. Well, we're nowhere close, but we also have nothing left to do until the fuselage gets here in a month. So, oh man, we're struggling. Uh, buddy Ted's here. We just went to Home Depot because someone yanked my uh, tiny little pipe cutter. Bastards. Thankfully, my club mechanic lent me his uh, flaring tool, which is awesome. You need to have a 37 degree flaring tool. <laughs> Here's Ted's playing steady cam operator. Uh,. I'll explain it the flaring in a second. But here we are on the test stand. Everyone remembers this from the LEDs. Well, I just went ahead and I, I took a 10 amp breaker because the 12 volt power supply we actually have hooked up to our uh, arrow that's on jacks behind me. A little gear leak issue. So the 12 volt power supply is over here. I didn't feel like messing with it, so I just went across the room with it. So what we're doing is we're hooking up all the heaters at once. So there's two heaters in the pedo tube, two 100 watt heaters. Uh, you know, it's just basically high high resistance filament. Just heats it up. Man, does it get hot! So we let it run for 20 minutes, and after about 20 minutes, the the closest it got. It ba the, basically, the heat snuck up about you know, about an inch up the tubing, so I can definitely see why they why they need to have an eight inch um, minimum clearance. So I've gone back and I've put the pedo tube back into the mass into the wing. Uh, I've got the eight inch lines drawn around the tubing, which I don't show you because I'm an idiot, uh, and I go to make sure that. Uh, it's in a, it's in a nice space. So with with the tubes cut where we did, which was actually a 10 inches, uh, it's it's no problem. Uh, there's plenty of there's plenty of room. Um, it's a little bit long, but I've been planning on using 90 degree uh, elbows anyway. So the decision was just made to cut it at 10 inches. Sides. If uh, if it's too long, I can just go back and cut it again. Can't cut it. You can. You can't cut it too many times. But you can. I. I left enough more than enough room to cut it again. So uh, after cutting, uh, and, but before flaring, we go ahead and we put our cap and sleeve piece on. Uh, here's a picture of that. So here's the ends of the tubes, and you can see the flaring that's been done. You can also see the uh, the sleeve, which is the piece closest to the flare, and then the cap. Those three pieces together, when, you know, attached to your adapter to, for the quarter-inch tubing, uh, that's a pretty, pretty damn good seal. You do a good, you do a good flare, you'll get a good seal. So that's, that's what those look like. Um, and so, yeah, once those two pieces of hardware are uh, inserted over your tubes, you can go ahead and flare. Uh, the... Uh, flaring tool that my mechanic left me is awesome and so we did both and so now we're here and test test fitting so there my buddy Ted uh, was holding on to the pedo tube and I was blowing into the reciprocal plastic lines which you can see me having run through the left wing and there you can see the uh, the adapters along with the quarter inch tubing it's pretty nice and that's actually pretty much it uh the only thing left is i'm so those are straight adapters and i as i talked i've got uh two 90 degree adapters coming uh which will make fitting that a lot easier so anyway the pedo stuff is done uh not sure what else we have to work on but you'll find out later so see you soon